G'day guys, it's the team at JC Installs and today we're going to be talking about sound deadening. Sound deadening is a, a really handy tool to use when you want to increase the quality of sound in the vehicle and decrease road noise. So it's got a couple of fundamental pieces to it. One, it cuts down the road noise in the vehicle slightly. Uh, two, it increases done properly, it increases the mid bass in the vehicle. It means you don't have to turn up your, your sound system as loud to get a reasonable result out of it. Because the difference between driving down the road and the noise that's coming through and the sound reproduction from the speakers is completely different from when it's sitting still in a workshop. So today, to give you a demonstration on the application of sound deadening, we're going to be doing a sound deadening install into a Toyota Caldina. We're going to show you a quick snippet of what the car sounds like before the sound deadening, and then we'll give you sort of a results video once we're done. So that's quite a good sound already. And yeah, the only problem is I can feel um, I can feel my door panel moving, and I can feel the the rattle throughout the door, eh? Mm. And it's interesting when we had it at high volume before, you could almost you could almost hear the sound of the metal moving, because I mean this system's capable of some reasonable noise. Yeah. So we really need to kill that resonance in the vehicle. Mm. And remember when we were on that road trip? Remember I had it cranked up to like 52. Uh, but here, obviously, we're at a lower volume. But um, it'd be great, you know, obviously not to have to crank it up so loud on the road. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Well, I think we should be able to rectify that with the uh, sound deadening. Sweet. Definitely make a much better sound. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Watch on and we'll chuck some sound editing in the vehicle. Before we get started, I just want to give you all a quick insight into the vehicle and why we are applying sound editing to it. So the vehicle is the Toyota Caldina GTT. It's my vehicle and it's in desperate need of a sound editing upgrade, especially because it's got quite a lot of audio gear in it. Being an older Japanese car with thin sheet metal doors in it, it tends to rattle and vibrate a lot when I'm driving, especially while playing music. I hear a lot of road noise through my doors and I really have to crank my sound system up to alleviate that. So the team here at JC Installs thought, you know, why not chuck sound editing in it? One, so that we can show you how and why sound editing is installed. Two, so that I can get more mid bass out of my system, increasing the overall listening experience. Three, cutting out that dreadful road noise. And finally, so that I don't have to turn my sound system up as loud as I normally do keeping things from being overdriven. Okay guys, we're about to get started, but um, before we do, we just want to show you what behind a door panel looks like and the actual door itself. So Josh has gone ahead and pulled off the passenger side door panel so that you can see all the sheet metal. Um, so I'll just take you around to the passenger side and he'll give you a quick run through. Here's the door panel. So as you can see, we've got a speaker properly mounted. We've got this plastic stuff covering over everything. Um, and in behind, Max, give her a wee tap. So basically we're not going to get any decent sound or resonance out of this here. It's going to have uh, too much uh, uh, flex of the steel and this plastic is all going to flex. Not to mention the massive holes letting all the uh, sound out. Yep, which of course isn't sealed properly behind the door panel because the door panel is designed to have air moving through it. So we're going to start by cleaning this up and uh, then we'll apply some sound deadening. Volume seems to increase, seems to have increased in the vehicle, which is really nice. Mm. Yeah, it's good because um, it, although I, I don't notice so much like a, a mid bass increase, there is a slight mid bass increase there, but the overall flatness and acousticness of the speakers is noted. Mm. Um, it's, it's taken, you know, these Alpine Type Rs from like a um, 
you know, they sound like a, a speaker that's twice as expensive. <laughs> and yeah, it's things. incredible the difference. Yeah. That's, that's lovely. Yeah, no doubt I'll be noticing the uh, difference in road noise on the way home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> So today we've used the Singer Roadkill product, which, as you can tell, really does the job. It's an excellent sound deadening material as long as it's applied and used correctly. Before, after. That does the bizzo. Alright, so um, to finish up this video, it's safe to say that most cars uh, do need sound deadening, whether it's to reduce road noise or increase the quality of your listening experience. As you've seen in this video, we've been able to increase the mid bass and the sound quality of my Toyota, and also no doubt decrease the road noise, which I'm sure I'll find out about soon. So if this is something that piques your interest, get in contact with us and we'll be happy to discuss sound deadening options for your vehicle. Thanks for tuning in, we're happy to have shown you how sound deadening is installed and the benefits it can bring. Come in and visit us. We'll see you next time and catch you later from the JC Installs team.